Just two weeks after the DGCA said that it was aware about the concerns raised by Gaurav Taneja against AirAsia, the regulator has sent a show cause notice to a senior executive of the carrier. Let's do a three-point analysis to understand what this means for the airline. 1. AirAsia India fires Gaurav Taneja Well, in latest updates, the airline AirAsia India has fired Gaurav Taneja, its pilot, who has alleged violations of safety norms by the airline. Gaurav Taneja also runs a YouTube channel called Flying Beast. Now, Gaurav Taneja had put out a video on June 15th talking about the reasons behind his suspension from the company. Now, meanwhile, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation also took note of some of the issues that were raised by Gaurav Taneja and has also issued a show cause notice to Manish Uppal, who is the head of operations at Air Asia India. The airline company has stated, and I quote, Air Asia India confirms receipt of the notice and we are assisting the regulator in its fact-finding process. We will fully cooperate with the regulator, unquote. 2. What were the allegations against the airline? Well, if you see, Gaurav Taneja listed out three broad issues on his YouTube channel, which he had also flagged at the company. Now, he talks about an environment that discourages pilots from taking a sick leave despite being unwell. Some senior pilots in the industry who Money Control spoke to have also agreed with Taneja on this, saying that most pilots fear asking for a sick leave as it may lead to punitive action in the form of, say, a lower bonus. Now, they also point out at how the job of a pilot really demands a high level of physical as well as mental fitness. Taneja has also alleged that the airline was not strictly adhering to the SOPs issued by the government on flying amidst the COVID-19 times. Though the pilot really doesn't get into the details on which were the SOPs that were not being followed, one really gathers that he was talking about the procedures to be followed within the aircraft. The Neja alleges that he was forced to delay a flight by 40 minutes because SOPs were not being followed. Now, the Neja's third and final point was on flap 3 and flap 4. Flaps are installed on an aircraft's wings and are mainly used to create a drag in the speed of the plane while landing or taking off. Now, this in turn can really reduce the distance required for landing or for takeoff. Flap 3 saves fuel, about 8 kgs. And this is a reason why nearly all airlines advise their pilots to use this mode rather than on flap 4. Now, in the case of AirAsia India, alleges Taneja that the airline had made it mandatory for its pilots to use flap 3 for 98% of their landings. 3. What's next for AirAsia India? Well, the DGCA will continue with its uh, investigations to really find out what had happened. The allegations put out by Taneja will also be looked into and verified. Meanwhile, the three issues raised by Taneja have set off a debate in the industry. Questions are being raised on the manner in which the senior pilot had really revealed his grievances. Also, some of the industry leaders have also said that talking about confidential information that one is really privy, privy to while at the workplace on social media is not just uh, contractually disallowed, but it is also morally incorrect. Mm -hmm.